journey at the Mandarin Hotel on the Bosphorus and it was absolutely stunning. We checked in and we just took in the views and the hotel and really enjoyed this amazing setup that they had laid out for us. There were so many beautiful snacks laid out for us and I definitely had to cut into this cake first and the views were absolutely stunning. We then got ourselves together and went to visit Topkapi Palace. Even though I had seen this before, it still took my breath away. It is so beautiful. You definitely need to dedicate quite a bit of time here just to really explore every single building that they have. And just outside is the Blue Mosque, so we of course had to go and visit. And you can see so much when you're on foot in Istanbul. We then took a nice long walk up to the Suleymaniye Mosque and the view from up here is incredible. We built up quite an appetite so Adam stopped for a kebab and he really really loved it. He went back a few times. We took it easy for our first night and had dinner at the hotel because they have a beautiful restaurant just on the Bosphorus called Olia. Food was incredible and it was the perfect setting to just relax and unwind. We ate to our heart's content and had lots of pasta and lots of bread and definitely a big helping of dessert. Hi guys, it's day two in Istanbul and we're just about to head out. I thought I will show you my outfit. Um, I'm using the really big camera so it might be a little bit unstable. I'm wearing these trousers from Pixie Market and I really love these. They're super comfortable and really lightweight and I'm wearing it with this belt from YSL. I really like this belt. It's really nice and simple and minimal and I'm wearing it with a tank from Under the Stories, shirt from Mango, this bag is also from Mango and I really love the colour. We're going for a walk now um, and we're going to go find like a place to eat or some nice cafes. Um, the area is quite nice and it's got a few little places just kind of along the Bosphorus so I thought it would be nice to just take a little gander. And I want to show you the view, oh, if I can get this door open. Um, I already filmed this like a zillion times, but it really doesn't get old. It's so, so pretty. Um, there's lots of different restaurants along here. Uh, this one is a really nice bar. I think it looks so cute. Um, and yeah, it's honestly so, so beautiful here. <laughs> Thank you. 
three we were united with family and we went to the Galata Tower and it's definitely an amazing viewpoint it can see the whole of Istanbul from up here and it was a really nice experience and following on from that we absolutely had to try the San Sebastian cheesecake I'd heard so much about it and it definitely lived up to its expectations I don't have a huge sweet tooth but this was just incredible this is one place that I would definitely revisit when I go back to Istanbul That same evening we thought it would be a really nice experience if we took a cruise on the Bosphorus. It was just a really beautiful evening, we saw the sunset and you could see so much, you could see so many palaces. We saw a couple of weddings on our cruise and it looked absolutely amazing, we definitely had a bit of FOMO. Our trip to Istanbul was sadly quite short this time so for the final day we explored the market I had to go back for this coffee that I picked up on my first trip I knew Adam would absolutely love this coffee and we have been making it over here and it is so good I would definitely recommend this if you love coffee we spent the day just walking around here so I didn't film too much but we had a really lovely final day. We've had another kebab, of course. I feel like we just wanted to eat our body's way in kebab on this trip, but it was definitely worth it. We left very early the next morning, so we just kind of took it easy in the evening. I hope you guys enjoyed this more travel-focused content, and let me know what you think, and I'll see you in my next video.